hi guys in this video we are going to create this project together and we are going to utilize the CSS properties to make this batch so the first step is I want to create an index file which is index.html you can you can name it whatever you want the next thing is the assets folder inside assets CSS and that the next thing is the images the images that only we use is the icon these are the star icons that we will use uh, all the other stuff is custom in made in CSS so the first part here is the, to create the boilerplate which is by using the Emmet abbreviation in VS code and I'm naming it CSS batch I'm just dumping up the font family that we need for this project. We are using Poppins and Granny, Penny, whatever. And then link the style sheet to the assets, CSS, and the CSS file that we need here is the style.css. Style.css. That's all we need for the boiler player. Now coming to the main point, what we have here. We have a simple container uh, and we are utilizing that container to, uh, to center uh, this component. And then inside that container, we have this card and that in card, we have two childs, which are this batch and this content. So let's build it. So the first thing I showed you is a container. I'm going to put a CSS script property here and uh, not here in the CSS file. And the next thing is card. Inside card, I have uh, two things. As I said, this one batch and the next one is content. So the, here I have this batch. And inside batch, I have this title 30. Okay, a uh, batch title, and then uh, I have this uh, ribbon thing, and uh, this ribbon thing, and this is a separate standalone component that we are going to create. So I'm naming it ribbon and badge ribbon and then i have this title h4 with the ribbon text ribbon text inside that i have this money bag okay so what's next so we have this title we have this box which is card and we have this uh, uh, ribbon now the stars for the stars, I'm just putting the images, uh, image uh, SVG icon. For that, I will use like stars. And uh, we need three stars, so I'm just putting it here three stars like images icon star. So I've just put it here. These are the stars icons. In, in, inside the images, we have icons, and then this is the star, the SVG. And the next thing that uh, we have here is the text, the main text that we need to put. I can call it uh, card content. Inside that, uh, I have this H2 and card title which is 30 day satisfaction guarantee and then we have card detail this text and then we have a signature right card signature which is quarter jack okay so I think uh, for the uh, structure perspective, we have to, uh, we are done because uh, in, uh, we have created our container, the main container to center this, and then we have our card and this uh, uh, batch, and inside batch we have these three uh, things. 
and on the right side uh, we have also uh, this uh, card content so let's dive into this CSS so far we have this output uh, now we need to make this just like this one so the first things that uh, I always include uh, the padding I want padding to be zero and margin zero and box sizing two border box these are just the uh, universal settings uh, like we are resetting the browsers by default settings and then the next part is HTML and uh, I want the font size to be 62.5% this is just for the conversion of RAM if you will look into the Google you will see a lot of information about it so I think do not ex uh, need to explain here body and I want my font size font family I want font families like opens and uh, for the backup I can say sans serif and font size I want it to be 1.6 RAM which will become 16 pixels because of this conversion now uh, the next thing is the container what I need is container display grid so now it has become a grid now the next part is I want it to be in the center so what I can do justify content center and uh, and the next thing is the uh, setting is maximum width to 110 RAM and uh, height I want its height to be like uh, 100 VH okay so uh, this is a justify content center and the next property I can say align item center so uh, this is the major part and the next thing is like I want uh, to utilize if you look into that we have this space right so what we need here now uh, we need to somehow uh, we need to somehow different and uh, center it like justify content because we have set the maximum width so it will uh, justify content center will not work okay so we do not that property now the what will work is margin zero from top to bottom and auto from the left and right so this will work okay so let's just put it here so uh, as i said margin zero auto okay the next thing that we need to put here is the batch we need to create the batch component let's do it batch i want batch height to be 17 RAM and uh, maximum width maximum width of the batch i want to set it to 17 RAM and width 100 percent so that it will adopt the maximum width to the to set it to the 100 percent next part is background color 4611c1 and then box shadow zero in the horizontal directions like in the x direction zero i do not want on the y direction zero blur i do not want any blur but i want spreadness spreadness and the same color what is spreadness like let's do it red so this is the spreadness okay so uh, i want the same color but before that uh, i want to uh, make a trick border four pixel solid and ff 
as you can see we have just created almost the same concept that we have this one okay so what we can now do we can place the same color it here and make it border radius 100 percent so as you can see we have this badge circle with the border and the box shadow spreadness and we are successful in creating these box shadow concept so uh, the next step is display flex and uh, i want it to be flex direction column and align item center and justify content center it's text align center okay so that our money back guarantee is all now also in the center now we can add up the padding which is padding one ram and zero and the color is of course white i think that's enough for the badge itself now let's dive into the ribbon to create the ribbon a ribbon is very easy to make background color which is f4436 and text transform uppercase and the clip property is clip path polygon x is 100% 0% 94% zero. So this is the money back guarantee. I just put the time and uh, created this ribbon so that you can always copy and paste it in your projects. Now the transform property is like scale 1.3. I want to scale so that it will look like this. Now the next thing are the stars. I want stars to be like display flex justify I want their star to win stars with to be two rims so we do, I think we do not need this uh, piece of code now let's talk about the card in card we have this display flex and box shadow zero zero five pixel and e8 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 padding six ram now the card title is margin margin bottom is 2.5 ram which is 25 pixel and now the card detail in card detail we have font size 1.8 ram font weight 300 color 404040 margin bottom 2 ram line height 1.8 okay then we have a card signature for that i will use card signature font family training font size 5 ram and color i want the same color and font weight 600 now the card content is margin left because i need some sort of breathing space from the left 4.8 ram okay now let's fix this issue the issue is instead of using justify content center i need to utilize space between so it has been fixed now uh, in order to make it responsive for the mobile i'm going to add a media query because right now it's, it will not work at the mobile site in order to fix this what i can do media maximum width 600 pixels and card flex direction 
because right now uh, the card direction is uh, simple uh, like in the row which is by default so when I turn it to the column it will react like this okay so padding I want padding it to be 2m align item center so uh, this time align set aligned item center will work in the x direction because it's column now for the card content card content text align center and then margin left which we put in the mobile uh, in the desktop version like for uh, for the uh, for the breathing here uh, we need to set it to zero on the mobile side and then margin top we need some breathing from the upper side which is five run okay so i guess we have accomplished our task we are successful in creating this uh, amazing project i hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon so that you will never miss any update